On the 20th of July, 2013, Jennifer and Jacob were married in the city of Lexington, Kentucky. They bought a house a few months later. Thus began their journey building a family, a home, and a garden. The Krasniewski's honeymoon period with their perfect backyard did not last. On Halloween night, just a few weeks after moving into their new house, a massive tree came crashing down. It knocked out power to the neighborhood, requiring two utility trucks to drive into the backyard. After weeks of cleanup, the backyard was a mess. So what do you remember about the big tree? Oh, the big tree. Uh, I remember getting a call from you one morning, just saying you need a pretty big favor. Uh, to help clean up a tree that fell down in a storm last night. And I come over expecting to help you, you know, cut some branches up, maybe carry some stuff to the curb. And I walk back here and it looks like a war zone. I mean, pieces of your shed are knocked off. There's power lines that had uh, been repaired by the power company the night before. And this tree, this monster of a tree, is stretched all the way through your backyard. And we start cleaning it up. And I mean, it's taking us hours just to get just to get down to the main trunk and so we start piling everything up to the curb and I think we ran out of room at the curb so I think that's when we made your first fire pit back out uh, in the back middle of your yard here to get rid of some of the extra branches and uh, we spent the entire day I think the entire weekend just getting branches cut up um, weeks of working on the main trunk it was so big I mean, I don't think two people could stretch their arms around it at the, at the base. It was a monster of a tree. By the time the tree was all cleaned up, winter had set in, and it was a rough one. Snow and ice led to an unprecedented 15 days of school cancellations, and Jake had plenty of time on his hands. Time enough to start working on a garden. With barely over 100 square feet of gardening space, the garden's first year was still successful. But this was just a start. Over the next few years, the garden continued to grow. Four raised garden beds turned into six, and then eight. An herb garden was planted in front of the shed. The strawberry patch was added to the front yard raspberries in the side yard. Peach trees were planted underneath where the big tree once stood. The young couple took gardening classes and introduced new crops to the garden. Corn, potatoes, okra, and garlic all made their appearances. Things were going splendidly. There were the occasional problems, chipmunks, squirrels, bugs, diseases, and one chubby raccoon all took their toll. And yet, the harvest was bountiful. By mid-May of 2017, the peas and strawberries were producing lots of food. Then, on May 19th, a child was born. Jen and Jake spent little time in the garden that summer as they raised their baby girl, Cora. It wasn't long before the whole family was back at it, teaching a new gardener how things are done. Cora got her own garden, began developing a green thumb of her own. What'd you get, Cora?
The garden didn't grow this year, but matured. A new garden fence was put around the raised beds with an arbor for a gate. Wood chips were laid down between the beds as a mulch to keep weeds down. It also made it easier for Cora to explore. Christian and Stacy Holiday are both gardening enthusiasts. They've been friends with the Krasniewskis for years, a friendship that has grown stronger through gardening and growing food. So tomatoes are your favorite crop to grow in the garden. What's your favorite dish to make out of things that you've produced? Um, well, if, if we're still talking about the, the tomatoes, this year we, we took the time to, instead of just canned tomatoes, we, we canned pasta sauce as well. Um, that's a lot of work because you have to cook it down and at the end you've taken 15 pounds of tomatoes and you might end up with you know, 10 jars of sauce but it, it tastes better than store-bought. Um, other than that I really like having you know fresh herbs on hand because that makes anything taste better. Um, squash is another thing that we like to make. You can use countless ways so it's there's a lot of good things that can come with uh, you know pretty pretty easy amount of effort out of the garden that can that can turn into some great meals. All the planting, all the cooking down, all the preparing, is it worth it? I think it is. Um, I guess it kind of depends on uh, your lifestyle, really. Um, my wife and I don't go out to eat a lot, so if we're going to be cooking at home for the majority of our meals, it might as well be something that, that tastes good. Um, the effort that goes into the canning and preserving, it's a lot of upfront effort, but then, you know, you get home, you work late, and you don't feel like making something. Well, you've already got soups and pasta sauces and things ready to go, but you basically get out of the car and it's ready. So is it worth it? What some people view as a cost, we saw as just another benefit. The tools all cost money, but now that we've set our garden boundaries, the yearly costs are minimal. The weekends of hard work spent outside during the spring, summer, and fall, we see as family time, working to grow something great and getting a bit of exercise on the side. In the end, I wouldn't do it any other way, and I can't wait to see what the next five years of gardening 